think the main thing was just to think practically about it. And, and it was really useful the first three years, because I'm new here, or relatively new, um, it was really useful to have to go through that process with the old set because we did pull it out, we painted things, we, we tried to update or, you know, spruce it up. And of course we still have to, even though it's been do, done, it's a new cast, it's a new crew, so we're always sitting in tech rehearsals, relighting. So that was actually all very useful to know what works, what doesn't, what's, uh, you know, a, a pain to deal with. It's kind of like a puzzle, you know, you don't yeah. just say, oh, I want to do, I'm just going to let my imagination reign free. It's still within parameters. And, and a lot of times that's the most interesting way to design, because when you have no boundaries, then it's sometimes harder to make choices than when you have boundaries. Our point was to make this the first experience for our matinee school children. You know, it's not about like, for people that have seen 50,000 productions and how can we make something interesting? It's about what did you have as a child? What are the things that draw you in? And it's the, you know, it's the color and light and things shifting and people moving. And, and, and also, um, working with Jason Spitzer the last two years on Christmas Carol, he, he brings such a knowledge of Dickens and a respect for that. We, right. wanted to, we wanted to create the same kind of magic that the original production did, that allowed it to have those 32 years. Hello, Ebenezer Scrooge!